This is an Adlar Pro video. Adlar Pro is a project funded by the European Union. This video is made available to you on a Creative Commons license. Hello, I'm Anna Matamala from UAB and in this Adlar Pro video I will explain what dubbing is. This is Unit 3, Dubbing in Module 5, Additional Services. Dubbing, together with subtitling and voiceover, is one of the main transfer modes when translating audiovisuals. In a dubbed product, the original voices disappear and are replaced by target language voices that talk, laugh, cry or shout as the original actors. Synchronization in dubbing is critical. It includes lip synchronization, isochrony and kinetic synchrony. Language is very important in dubbing. Although the language of dubbing or the bees is planned, the actors will be reading what is written, it must sound spontaneous, credible, natural. The audience needs to believe these American actors are speaking, say, Catalan. To that end, professionals use what's called a prefabricated orality. Dubbing is the general practice in many countries. The European map that now appears on screen shows countries that only dub for children, Scandinavian countries or Portugal, and countries where dubbing is the main transfer mode, Spain, Italy, Germany or France. Dubbing involves different tasks translating the original audiovisual content, synchronizing it, spotting the script, that is segmenting the text into takes, and revising it. The output at this point is a written script. It often happens that each task is done by a different professional, but sometimes one professional can also be in charge of two or more tasks. Once this written script is available, the recording with professional voice talents begins, supervised by a dubbing director. This takes place in a dubbing studio as the one on screen. There are other commercial, technical and artistic steps in the process that I will not explain. In order to guarantee that the recording runs smoothly, the expert in charge of synchronization, the dialogue writer, uses symbols. Due to synchronization constraints, it may well be that dialogues are slightly changed. This is standard practice and should not be viewed as an instance of censorship. Although it is true that dubbing has been used as a tool to censor dialogues by some regimes. Go check what happened with the translation of Mogambo in Spain. You will be surprised. If you are a describer, you should always watch the content in the language the audience will receive it. Also, if you are translating an AD script rather than creating it, you should be aware that the dialogues in the dubbed version may differ from the original ones. If you want to know more about dubbing, you can read the book Audiovisual Translation Dubbing by Frederic Chauma. The preparation of this presentation was supported by AdLab Pro, Audio Description, a laboratory for the development of a new professional profile, financed by the European Union under the Erasmus Plus program. Key Action 2, Strategic Partnerships. Project number 20161IT02KA20302431. The information and views set out in this presentation are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the official opinion of the European Union. Neither the European Union institutions and bodies nor any person acting on their behalf may be held responsible for the use which may be made of the information contained therein. This was an AdLab Pro video. AdLab Pro partners are University of Trieste, Universitat Autonoma di Barcelona, University of Antwerp, Adam Miskevich University, RTV Slovenia, Utopian Voices, Sound Focus, and Royal National Institute of Blind People. AdLab Pro was funded by the European Union. This video was made available to you on a Creative Commons license.